and welcome to my bathroom. Alright, so in my state here in California, we are on a lockdown. Tons of other places around the world are doing the same and even in places where it's not mandated, a lot of people are doing the smart thing and social distancing, staying home, trying to flatten the curve and slow the spread of this pandemic. So other than the occasional trip to the grocery store, I have not really left my house in two weeks. And get a little stir crazy. I've been trying to come up with video ideas that I can film in my home without them just getting stale and boring, you know, mix it up a little bit. And as I was trying to brainstorm, I remembered that like a year ago-ish, there was this whole trend on YouTube that I never participated in of the 24 hour challenge. Spending 24 hours in your room, your car, your bathroom. And I mean, that's kind of essentially what quarantine is. That's kind of essentially what we're all doing right now, but just within our whole house. So I thought it would be fun to revive this trend, make the cage of my lockdown significantly smaller for your enjoyment, and I am gonna spend the next 24 hours locked in here. So this is the bathroom in the new house that Steven and I just moved into. Oh, and the toilet's in there. And then also on this side, hi, still in my pajamas, we have this vanity setup and then the bathroom actually connects to our master bedroom. But I'm gonna draw a line right here. So I'm really confined to the bathroom. And it also connects to my closet, but I'm gonna put some tape here. So I can't go in there either. But before I officially start at hour zero, I need to run around my house and pack some stuff and gather everything that I want for the next 24 hours into the bathroom. Because even though Steven is here in the house, I wanna try and do this with as little like intervention as possible. And I'm someone who gets very bored very easily, so I'm gonna need uh, a lot of stuff to entertain me. All right, I think I'm ready. <laughs> I ran around the house and packed up just about everything I think I could need. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. And uh, let's see, it is 11.28. So until 11.28, oh look, I'm already down a minute. Let's, let's give it a gentleman's 11.30. I don't want to wait an extra two minutes. I'm already doing 24 hours. Till 11.28, tomorrow, Monday, I will be trapped in here. I was gonna organize all the stuff that I brought in, but then I realized I should start my 24 hours and then take some time to organize that because I have nothing but time to kill. All right, bye. Farewell, my dearest wife. Stay strong. Mm, have fun, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I think the first couple hours I'll have fun and then I'll hit a slump where I'm like, I get stir crazy and I'm like, let me out of this bathroom. I think that will happen in three hours. Three hours? All right, well that burned 12 minutes. Well, I think I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna do like the whole shebang. I feel like most of the time I take a shower, it's like maybe five minutes, detangle my hair, put in some conditioner, shampoo like once a week. But I'm gonna do it all today. I'm gonna shave, I'm gonna exfoliate. I'm gonna do a deep conditioner, maybe a protein treatment. We're gonna go all out because we have nothing but time today. And then I think I'm gonna style my hair. I've been doing the curly girl method for about four months now. And I feel like I have my ideal routine that I maybe do like 50% of the time and then I have like a quick version of it. Today, we're doing the ideal and I think I might even like fully blow dry it. That sounds fun. Our shower handle's broken. <sighs> Best shower ever. <laughs> All right, we are just over an hour in, but I actually, I really, as, as silly as it sounds, I do want to try to be somewhat productive in the bathroom today. That didn't come out the way I meant it to sound. I want to do some work. <laughs> Uh, I have two vlogs that I wanna edit. I have a main channel video that I need to review that my editor Rachel sent me, so I always like watch them before, send any notes. Rachel's probably editing this video. Hi, Rachel. I'm gonna schedule tomorrow's podcast and then I probably have like an hour to an hour and a half of like email, admin, computer work to do. Got my laptop here. My vanity station is now my desk station. And I'm just gonna get started a little bit, then I'll take a break, probably blow dry my hair a bit, and then hopefully kill some more time by getting some work done. Let's do it. Yeah, what's up? Hey, can you come help me for a sec? I'm having trouble downloading my files. 
So much for being self-sufficient. But while I wait, I guess I will take my hair down and start my blow dry. Um, so my computer won't download my files. Do you think maybe my computer's full? Can I investigate? Yeah, you can take it. I can't leave the room, but my computer can. <laughs> About this. The fun thing about doing the curly girl method is every day is a little bit different. I never really know exactly how the curls are gonna fall. Also, this is my first time blow drying my hair in probably like two months. So nice to just have dry hair like right out of the shower. I'm, I'm glad I took the time to do that. Hmm, what do I do now? <laughs> I guess I can do some makeup. I don't think I want to do like a full face of makeup just because I'm kind of having a comfy casual day. But Maybe some powder, a little bit of eyebrow gel, maybe like a light colored eyeshadow. I think that sounds good. I'm so used to rushing through my makeup as quick as I can, like quickly applying my eyeshadow. And then I was like, wait, I literally have nowhere to go. I am getting ready for nothing. So I'm gonna take my sweet time putting on this eyeshadow. gonna do a full face of makeup and then uh, I started really enjoying doing my makeup so I pretty much did except for foundation and I feel really cute I'm just in like my bralette and some underwear but I feel, kind of feel like dancing around making some TikToks oh you know what I really want to do is take an Instagram photo because yesterday I I feel like I really had a breakthrough in my confidence you know what Let's go over here. Let's have a little change of scenery. Have a little chat. Okay, so as you guys know, a couple months ago, I was pregnant and I had a miscarriage. And since then, I feel like my confidence took a huge hit. I made so much progress over the last few years of just like my confidence, my self image, the way that I value myself and the way that I think about my appearance. And I really don't know why, but after everything happened, I just felt not like myself. I felt incredibly incredibly self-conscious. Like I literally felt like I was in high school again with the way that I was feeling about myself and judging myself and not wanting to even like embrace or look at my figure. And then last night I posted this big thing because I put on a swimsuit last night to go swimming with Steven. And as soon as I put it on, I instantly felt super self-conscious, like just so unhappy with the way that I looked. I, I didn't even want to wear the swimsuit. And the thing is, the there was no reason for me to feel self-conscious. No one was looking at me, no one was judging me, it was just me. But I was just so unhappy and upset about the way that I looked in the swimsuit. And I put on a big t-shirt and I sat on the bed and I started scrolling through social media. And a lot of the people that I follow are like body positive accounts. I follow like some plus size models. And I was looking at these photos of a lot of girls who look like me. And I was looking at them and I just had this intense cognitive dissonance of looking at these photos being like, wow, this girl is so beautiful. I love this photo. Oh my gosh, she looks amazing. And then I started to realize like, wait, I kind of look like that. I kind of have a stomach like that. Why do I think that this girl is so beautiful, but I'm so unhappy with the way that I look. And I think we get in our heads like that so often where it's so much easier to think positive things about someone else than it is yourself sometimes. And all of a sudden I felt this like weight lift off me where I was like, I am beautiful. I do look good. And I looked in the mirror and I felt like I was looking back at a completely different person. I felt cute and confident and I was happy with the way that my body looked. Literally nothing changed about my appearance from when I first put on the swimsuit to when I looked back in the mirror five minutes later. But my perspective had been shifted because of the people who I follow on social media and the influences that I allow into my head. And it made me realize how, first of all, how important body representation is and how much I am positively affected by following women who look like me and also how important it is for women of all sizes, whether you're a size two or a size 20, to share positive messages online because it really does affect the way that we think about ourselves. And I don't know, I, that's so simple and that's something that I've, I've known for a long time, but for whatever reason, last night it affected me so differently. And so I wanna post on Instagram today, just like a cute little photo of me. I was originally just gonna wear like a normal outfit, but now, 
should just do it in my underwear. And then I wrote down a list of some of my favorite body positive accounts and influencers. And I wanna put that list on my Instagram so that hopefully a lot of you guys can get more positive influences on your feed. But yeah, not really related to my 24 hour bathroom challenge, but to me, that is so important and that is why I do YouTube. Even if I'm doing a silly video like this, I still think there can be a positive message in it and hopefully someone who's watching this can feel a little bit different about themselves after. I'm gonna see if I can get Steven in here and uh, take some pictures of me in my underwear. <laughs> All right, I got my post up. It has been up for 12 minutes. I love good confidence days. I love those days when you're just comfortable no matter what you're wearing, you look in the mirror and you're happy with yourself. Who would have known that being trapped in my bathroom would put me in such a good headspace? But I, I really like myself right now. Y I'm feeling good. Oh, don't you worry. I came prepared. <laughs> So for lunch today in our fabulous Sierra's bathroom restaurant, we have a nice spread ready to be created. So I'm gonna make a kale salad and then I'm also gonna chop up some red bell pepper to eat and I have some kombucha. I even brought a cutting board, a salad bowl, and a knife. But the only thing I have to prepare this on is this pretty small folding table. I thought about clearing some space at my little makeup station, but my computer is there, like uploading a vlog and all my makeup's there. It seems like a big to-do. So I'm gonna try here first. I hope I didn't forget anything because Steven's getting our last few boxes from our old house right now. So if I need anything, I have no way to get it, but hopefully we're fine. I did pre-wash my kale, so we're all good to go on that. Oh my gosh, no! No, I didn't bring a fork. <laughs> um, who says salad isn't a finger food? It's kind of disgusting considering there's gonna be like oil and cheese on it, but I have a sink. You know what? We're going with it. I'm gonna eat my salad with my hands. It's not fine, but it's fine. I am getting kale all over the floor. back, watch some YouTube, and enjoy my salad as much as I can. <laughs> All right, so I ate my salad, I had some nuts, I'm drinking my kombucha, and I put all the dirty dishes just in the bathroom sink over there. But now I am back at my workstation here. I'm watching my friend Carrie's vlog while I respond to comments on my vlog. If you guys didn't know, Steven and I have a vlog channel that we are very active on, especially right now with all of like the moving and decorating vlogs. I've been having a lot of fun with it, so definitely check it out. I will put a link in the description or a card right there. But I'm kind of getting like less motivated to work. I definitely feel myself getting like a little antsy and jittery. So I brought lots of pillows and blankets and even a sheet and I wanna set that all up in the bathtub because I feel like it could be really comfortable but right now the light is shining directly where my head would be. So in like an hour or so when it starts to get dark, I think I'm gonna set up shop in here, get real comfy and just like chill out and relax a little bit. I brought my Switch so I can play some Stardew Valley. I really wanna watch Tiger King on Netflix because everyone's been talking about it and it's just like absurd and so interesting. I did bring our blow up mattress in here so that's kind of my backup but I kind of think the tub could be more comfortable if I get like the pillows and blankets just right. <gasps> Hi, baby. Oh, hi, baby. But this is the chair I've been sitting on for the past five and a half hours, and I'm done with it. I'm tired. No more. Should I blow up the air mattress? Or do I just set up some of my pillows and blankets on the floor and get all comf? Nice. I wouldn't call this comfortable, but I'm happy I moved down here. So. <laughs> I can't remember the passcode for my iPad, and now it's disabled for a minute. What's my passcode? This is not comfortable. You know what's like the rudest part about all of this? I can see my bed. There is no door. I can see it, but I can't lay in it. And I have no one else to blame but me because I chose this video idea. I could have done the 24 hours laying in my bed watching Netflix challenge, and I could be over there happy as a clam, but no, I am here on the hard bathroom floor 
with Bella licking my tripod. Hi. At least I have my snacks though. So you know what? <sighs> Can't complain. What's cooking good looking? I was doing really well for the first five hours, which honestly is kind of a long time. So I'm really proud of myself with that. But, so I laid on the floor, which isn't comfortable, but it's something. I can't remember the passcode on my iPad. Do you know what it is? <gasps> I'm in! All right, I just got home and this is how I'm finding Sierra. <laughs> Sierra, there's literally an air mattress right here. This is a much different state than I left you in. Oh, I'm starting to go a little stir crazy. You've only been here for six hours. I'm really starting to regret this video. Dogs, you're not supposed to be on the bed, but given mom's hard circumstances, I'll let you do it. I'm gonna go leave you guys alone and, uh, you know, do my own thing. I'm so happy we set up the blow-up mattress. This mm -hmm. is actually pretty tough. Yeah, while you sleep there, the dog tonight will just be right here tonight, so. <laughs> Alrighty, got some ravi pesto ravioli shenanigans. Did you make dinner? I did. Oh, thanks. Here that is. I was gonna just have carrots and hummus. I'm watching America's Next Top Model. I am really comfy here, and the dogs have been keeping me company, so. Yeah, hey, keep watching TV. You're now officially a third of the way through. Only a third. <laughs> Hopefully I will be sleeping for another third. And then tomorrow, I'll just kind of do what I did this morning where I really take my time getting ready. Like, I enjoyed that. I'm gonna go upstairs and get some stuff done. And I will check in on you in a couple hours. Oh man, it's dark. <laughs> Hello again. Once I got real comfy on the air mattress and ate dinner, the dogs cuddled up with me. Honestly, I was thriving. That was fantastic. <laughs> also, I have yet again removed my pants because I just simply cannot be bothered right now. So I think I'm gonna take a bath, light some candles, put on my diffuser. That sounds fun. Let's do a spa night. Cool, awesome, break. Hello and welcome to Sierra Schultz's Super Zen Spa TN featuring my diffuser conflicting scents from a Bath and Body Works candle. My skincare fridge. Yes, I have a skincare fridge, judge me for it, but it's the best $40 I've ever spent. <laughs> Getting roasted in the comments for my skincare routine because I'm sure there's many things that I'm doing incorrectly. A little bit of regret for filling up this bathtub and wasting so much water. And bath bombs. And taking a bath in my swimsuit because I'm not gonna let the internet see my tatas. This isn't OnlyFans, this is YouTube. You know, this whole bathroom challenge is suddenly becoming completely worth it because it's giving me the perfect excuse to take like a two hour bath. Life is good. Well, actually, life's not like that good right now. There's a lot of crap going on, but this moment, this moment is good. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I have a FaceTime date planned with my bestie girls tonight. Yeah, I brought an air mattress in here. Hey! It's okay, I'm in the bath. All right, we're still on the call, but I'm no longer in my bathtub. But Corey and Kenzie went in their bathrooms so we could all be in solidarity. We're not doing it for 24 hours. Yeah, absolutely not. Bella, you look so cute right there. Oh my gosh. I just got off the video call with Kenzie and Corey. It was a lot, a lot of fun. So I think I am gonna go finish my skincare routine. I just need to put on like a moisturizer. Oh my God, my heart. A moisturizer and um, some like eye cream. And then I am gonna try and go to sleep. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I woke up about 15 minutes ago. It is 8.48. I feel like that's a success. I thought I was gonna wake up at like 5 a.m. and not be able to go back to sleep. I will say, I think I slept well, but not soundly, if that makes sense. So I woke up a couple times and just kind of like fidgeted and then went back to sleep, but I never like woke up and couldn't go back to sleep. Well, normally if it was around like 8.30 or 9 and I woke up, I would just hop right up and start getting ready or at least like go into the kitchen and like make some breakfast, sit on the couch. But since I still have a couple hours to kill in here, I'm gonna watch some Netflix. <laughs> but after like 30 minutes or an hour, I think I'll get up, brush my teeth, take a shower. Alrighty, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go to work. So <laughs> I look forward to you finishing this. I'm honestly surprised you went through with it. I, when I commit to something, I commit. I thought you'd last only six hours for sure. <laughs>
9.43, that's only like less than two hours left. Well, I love you. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks, bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was just sitting at my vanity, zoning out, playing on my phone, scrolling through Instagram, and I totally missed it. It's 11.33, I made it. So I actually did 24 hours and five minutes. I can leave the bathroom, I did it. We ready? <gasps> bum, bum, bum. <sighs> we did it. Oh, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna get some fresh air. We are going outside, little ladies, outside. <sighs> it's so nice to be out in the bathroom. <laughs> I made it. I honestly, I did have a lot of fun doing this. I feel like it was a fun excuse to chill out, really get familiar with a room in my home that I don't usually just hang out in. And I do think that the master bathroom is my favorite room in this house. Whoever like designed this house and built it, like we're on the same page when it comes to master bathrooms. Like the master bathroom is literally bigger than the master bedroom and that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I do think there were aspects of this that were harder than I thought. I definitely didn't expect myself to get so like jittery and antsy only a couple hours in. But I think once I took that break and laid down on the air mattress for a little while, I got real comfy. And then I like enjoyed my spa night. I enjoyed my virtual girls night and actually slept decently well. Although I did miss sleeping next to Steven. That was like the worst part of all of this. So I'll be a little bit happier to be just confined to my house today. And I'm looking forward to going upstairs and working at my desk today instead of in my bathroom. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you have any videos that you want me to film that I can film alone in my house because that's what I'm working with right now. And I want to keep making content. Right now I'm actually making two videos a week for the next month. Or I guess at this point it'll be like another three Three weeks because this is going up like a week after I film it but I've been having a lot of fun and I feel like it's definitely been keeping me occupied during this very crazy time so I really appreciate you guys being here and watching and supporting me and just thank you I really really appreciate it and I hope you're doing well I want to give a big thank you to all of you guys who are doing your part in social distancing and everyone who is working right now to make the world keep turning all of the grocery store clerks and the doctors and nurses and postal workers and delivery drivers. And I, I mean, the list goes on and on. So many of you guys, I just wanna give you all a big hug. So thank you so much. I hope this video was a weird little distraction and I will see you guys on Friday with another new video. Bye.